Listen, I've come to encourage you. Yes, you. This is a right now word. God says that we must trust him for we know all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. We know all things are possible, but with God, that means any way possible. God says any way possible. God always dream. He dream bigger and better dreams for us than we dream for ourselves always. And life is all about choices. Yes, your life is a choice, but we know that God is the author and he's also the finisher. He's the author and the finisher. And about two days ago, I began to meditate and pray, read my word, read scripture, because I had questions for God. Oh yes, I had some questions, some major questions. I began to pray and meditate and I said, God, why? Who better can answer my questions than our heavenly father? See, some of us say we can't question God, but if we can't question God, who can we question? He's all knowing. He's the author and the finisher. He's the beginning and he's truly the end. So if we have any questions, we should go to God. And so I began to go to God and say, God, why? I said, God, all of the obstacles that I have seems a little bit harder than those around me. I said, God, my struggles seem to be endless. The test that I endure are back to back. So I had some questions. I said, God, can you help me out? I'm trying to figure this thing out. So I began to read scripture and I read greater is he that's in me. It said greater is he that's in me. I said, God, greater is he that's in me. What does that mean? And God says, greater am I in you. So yes, you will have difficulty. You will have trouble. You will have problems, but guess what? You will persevere through it all because you're more than a conqueror. I say, God, why me? He said, why you? It's not about you. It's about what's within you. It's what's about within us. We carry God on the inside. So God knows all of the troubles, the heartaches, the loss, the frustration, the difficulty that we will endure. But God says, it's not about you. It's about what's within you. And we must always remember, it's not about us. See, we get so conflicted. We begin to believe that it's all about us. Why me? Why I got to go through? Why my struggles are harder than my neighbor's? Why are my difficulties endless, it seems. But God says it's not about you. It's about what's within you. Because God has equipped us with all we need to persevere. The word of the Lord declares, count it all joy when faced with trials of many kinds. Because we know the testing of our faith develops perseverance. So I began to question God. I said, God, I, I don't understand why. But more and more, as I began to read scripture, and as God declared, he declared in 2 Timothy 1 and 7, he says, I didn't give you the spirit of fear. I didn't give you that spirit, but I've given you the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. That means whatever you're faced with, whatever you have to go through, I'll always be by your side. For in Deuteronomy 31 and 6, the word of the Lord declares, I will never leave you, nor shall I forsake you. That's the word of God. God says, meditate. Trust me. Pray. Read your word. 
because with God, that means any way possible. It's not about you, but it's about what's within you. What God has graced on the inside of you. When he declared in Ephesians 2 and 10, he declared that we are all God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works that God has prepared in advance for us to do. God says it's not about you, but it's what's within you that keeps you. I said, okay, God, does that mean all of the obstacles that I've endured that was meant to oppress me have now given me greater opportunity? I said, okay, God, all of the stresses and struggles that I've had to endure that tried to crush me to my core have now blessed me in ways that I've never could imagine. They've turned into successes. I said, okay, God, all of the barriers that I've endured mm, that could have caused breakdowns have now become breakthroughs that I've endured and become an overcomer. I said, okay, God, now I understand. God says it's not about you, but it's what's within you. I've come to encourage someone right now. You think it's about you, but it's all about what's within you. Because God declared that he is indeed your keeper. And he is a promise keeper. It's not about you, but it's what's within you. That's why you can't give up. That's why you refuse to quit. That's why you keep going when you should have thrown in the towel a long time ago. I'm here to encourage you that it's what's within you. God uses you because you have greater on the inside. That's why you refuse to quit, to throw in the towel, to give up. Even when you have obstacles, struggles and difficulties, many challenges. I just want to encourage you to continue to trust God because greater is he that is within you. Greater is he that is within you. Continue to trust God because it's not about you. But with God, that means any way possible. We watch God do exceedingly, abundantly above all we can ever ask or imagine. And he hasn't stopped now. God is a God of forever. And God is indeed a promise keeper. I just want to encourage you to continue to trust God because it's not about you, but it's what's within you that carries you through. Continue to trust God. Continue to believe. And remember, all things are possible through Christ Jesus who loves us. But with God, that means any way possible. You are a victor. You are a conqueror. You are a survivor. Continue to trust God because it's not about you. God says continue to trust. Continue to progress. Continue to believe. Because greater is he that's within I you. love you all so very much. This is your Auntie Rochelle. This is Inspirational Cafe. Until next time, be blessed.